Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss the fifth problem of Petcoder Beginner Contest 361, which is Tree and Hamiltonian Path 2. So what is the problem? We are given a graph uh, with n vertices and n minus 1 edges, and uh, mm, there is a edge connecting AI and BI with a weight CI. Okay, and uh, any two nodes uh, are reachable from one another. Okay, and we have to find the minimum travel distance required to start from any node and visit all the nodes uh, once, at least once. Uh, using these edges. Uh, so I have uh, given you the formal statement of the problem. Uh, this this is something else written here, but the formal statement is this only. Okay. So let's take one example. This one. Uh, there there is four nodes graph. So one to two is a edge, and one to three is a edge, and one to four is a edge. So the weight of the first edge is two, second edge is three, and third edge is four. Now there are uh, multiple ways to traverse this graph such that e each node is visited at least once. One of them is, uh, let's say we are going from 1 to 2 and coming from 2 to 1 back. Uh, then we are going to 1 to 3 and coming from 3 to 1 back and going to 1 to 4. So the, uh, this will be 1 to 2, then 2 to 1, then 1 to 3, then 3 to 1, and then 1 to 4. So the, uh, the ages here is 2, 2, 3, 3, and 4. So the sum of the ages are uh, 4, 7, 10, 14. So this is not the optimal way. The optimal way is to uh, start from 4. So we can go from 4 to 1. Then uh, we can go from um, 1 to 2, then we can go to 2 to 1 back, and then we can go to 1 to 3. So the ages are nothing but 4, 2, 2, and uh, 3. So uh, the answer is 11 here. So the answer will be 11. So you can check the answer. Answer is 11. So uh, what is the observation? The first observation is that in the uh, problem statement, it is not mentioned that the given graph is a tree. Okay. But uh, with the given constant that there are n minus 1 edges in the graph uh, and each and every node is visible from uh, sorry each and every node can be traversed from the uh, any other node so this is a simple connected graph with n minus 1 edges so this is definitely a tree so the given example is that this is a tree okay so this will help us now uh, let's take some other example to understand the problem statement better so uh, let's let's first co co forget about the weights Let's think that every weight is uniform and with uh, one weight. Okay, then how how will what will be the answer? So let's take uh, one example. Let's say this is the example. Let's say one to two, two to three, three to seven. Let's say and let's say this is four uh, and this is five and this is six. Okay, now here in any of the traversal, you can uh, you can say uh, see that some no, uh, some edges are uh, traversed twice and some edges are traversed once. So here you can see that uh, in the first example, the this edge is traversed twice, 1 to 2 is traversed twice, from 1 to 2 and 2 to 1, and this edge is traversed twice, 1 to 3 and 3 to 1, but this edge is traversed once. And similarly, here 1 to 2 and 2 to 1, this is, is traversed twice, but the rest of the edges are traversed once. So let's say we have uh, created two sets. S1 means that all the edges that are traversed once, and S2 means all the edges that are traversed twice, then our answer will be nothing but 2 into uh, uh, summation of S2 plus S1. Okay. Now, we can say uh, S1 union S2. S1 union S2 is the our edges uh, E. Okay. So, we can write it here. Uh, 2 into summation of E minus summation of S1 also. Okay. So, what we have to find? We have to find the maximum value of this summation of S1. We have to find the maximum value of the summation of S1. That means uh, we have to find the maximum path length. Maximum path length or maximum sum of weights in a path uh, in the given tree. Okay. So let me ex explain this to you in this problem statement. So how we can uh, take the maximum path and we can traverse them at least once. And the other edges twice. Okay. Sorry. We can take the maximum path and traverse all the edges in the path once and other edges twice. So here the maximum path is from 6 to 7 okay so we will traverse all the edges in this path 6 to uh, 6 to 7 once and there is only one edge left so we will traverse this edge twice so how, how is that possible we will start from one of the lead node we will start from this lead node and we will go from 6 to 5 5 to 1 and 1 to 2 when we are at 1 to 2 we will not go to the uh, mm, go in the path with the maximum uh, length okay we will we'll do what we will go to the other path. We will go to 2 to 4 and we will come back from 4 to 2. After that, we will go from 2 to 3 and 3 to 7. Here you can see that 
all the ages in the longest path is traversed once and the other ages is to is traversed twice okay so that's how we will be uh, um, like giving you the work and uh, i think that will be the solution i mean that is the solution obviously so uh, what the problem boils down into we have to find the uh, path with maximum sum we have to find the path with maximum sum so this is a very common problem in uh, binary trees uh, you can find it in lit code or anywhere so uh, how we are going to solve this for a uh, binary tree so in a binary tree we have something like root and we have uh, left and right okay so uh, let's say what is the longest path in the left node uh, left child okay longest path in the left subtree let's call it mxl and what is the longest path in uh, right child let's call it mxr okay now uh, let's say uh, here uh, in the binary tree the co common problem is that we have to uh, add the way um, uh, value of the root node but here you can see that uh, we can add the value of uh, value of the weight so let's say this is uh, wl and let's say this is wr so uh, what will be our uh, value the, our maximum value could be uh, mxl uh, plus mxr plus uh, wl plus wr okay this is one candidate of the longest path this is one candidate of the longest path but we have to return something to the uh, to the parent node of this r we have to return something from the of the parent node of this r so we can take longest path here or we can take longest path here okay so we can return maximum of uh, mxl plus wl we can return maximum of mxl plus wl or we can return uh, mxr plus wr okay so this is one candidate answer and we will return this thing uh, to the parent node okay so we are going to use the same thing for the nre tree so uh, let's jump on to the code you will understand it better okay so uh, here it, here is the dfs part so uh, what we are doing we are traversing of um, each age in the uh, adjacency list and we are pushing uh, the maximum path this is mxl and we are doing mx pushing mxl plus wl in the vector okay and after that we are sorting the vector and reversing the vector that means we are sorting this in a descending order so if the length of the path is greater than uh, equals to 2 that means there are uh, at least two uh, childs of this node there are at least two childs in the node what we will do we will we'll take uh, the two maximum values so we will take uh, ma uh, two maximum values mxl plus wr uh, wl and mxr plus wr and that could be our uh, answer candidate so maxi will be max of maxi comma v0 plus v1 now if length of v is 1 then we can take uh, this maximum value as our candidate and we are returning the maximum value to the parent node okay i hope you get it uh, you are getting it okay uh, and the rest of the part is quite straightforward uh, we are uh, um, like we are taking xyz as input and um, pushing uh, building the adjacency list and we are taking sum as the uh, this summation of e so we are building sum as the summation of e and we are doing dfs and we are uh, the, our answer is nothing but 2 into sum minus maximum uh, path length or maximum weight path i hope you got the explanation if you have any doubt in any part of the explanation you can always ask in the comment section i will try to reply each and every comment uh, also i will provide the link of the code in the description box if you find this video helpful please like the video and subscribe to my channel and also share among your peers thank you